Leilani's story doesn't add up. Well, uh, I've been talking with the baby's father, with Quentin's father. I've been talking with him all day yesterday. And um, he's already been questioned, and they've already went to his job and went to um, his home. And Quentin's not there, which is, I didn't think he would be anyway. Why Leilani would even come up with a story like that, I don't even know. And that's your daughter. Yes. That's his mom. Yes. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. The clip that you guys just watched is the very first time that Billy Joe Howe spoke out about her missing grandson. This was just a few days after he went missing. In that clip, she talks about how her daughter lied to the police, telling the police that Quentin's dad came and got him, which didn't really make sense since Quentin's dad was not a part of Quentin's life and not heard from Leilani in several months. And even Billy Joe said in that clip, it doesn't make sense. I don't know why Leilani would say that. Like, I just don't know. Her story's not adding up. So that's what she allegedly told the police when they did come to her house on the morning of October 5th after she reported her son missing. So she calls the police, tells them that she can't find her son, that the door was left open. Then when they get there, she's like, oh, I think his dad may have came and got him in the middle of the night. Like, I don't know. And Billy Joe's like, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's it because like, why would he? He could at least call and say, can I see my son? You know, why just show up? and still his kid that he hasn't seen in six or seven months. Didn't really make a lot of sense, and that really caused Billy Joe to question Leilani. And, you know, if she, in my opinion, more than likely, why she would say something that they knew was not even close to, you know, a possibility of what, what took place. Um, I think at that point, we all know that Billy Joe was questioning Leilani because she even said in that interview, we can't trust her. Like, you know, sometimes she does well, but a lot of times she doesn't. She lies. Now, Bubba Moss, Quinn's dad, has spoken out to talk about his experience with Leilani and how he feels about being framed. So, there's an article. There's actually several articles. I'm actually going off the New York Post. Um, he says, Leilani tried to blame me in an interview that he did with the Daily Mail. He said, they asked me, did I have Quentin? And when was the last time I was in Savannah? They told me that Leilani said that I came and got him overnight. As we all know, Leilani is the only suspect in this investigation. The father said that he told investigators that he had not been in Savannah area since he installed an air conditioner about a month ago in Tybee Island, where ironically enough, Leilani and her mother, Billy Joe Howe, were spotted throwing back shots of tequila and racking up a bill of $300. Now, Bubba Moss also told the Daily Mail that he provided the police with an alibi of his whereabouts at the time of his son's disappearance. He told the police, she's going to hurt that baby. I said, I didn't know what was going on. Hell, I haven't even heard from her in six to seven months. Now, his relationship with Leilani, um, very rocky from my understanding, um, he talks about the relationship. Leilani, at one point, tried to frame him for uh, a crime that she actually committed. And he talked about that in his interview with the Daily Mail. So at first he talks about how, you know, she tried to blame me. I don't know why she would try to blame me. I gave the police an alibi. Um, he says she's dangerous, she's evil. Um, but he had a solid alibi. He was not in town. He has not even been, you know, close to that area in at least a month. But then he talks about his relationship with Leilani in the past. So in reference to them dating, getting pregnant, he says that he met Leilani in 2019 and she became pregnant with Quentin in 2020. However, she kept the pregnancy a secret in the beginning. He says she didn't tell me until months later that she was pregnant. I didn't have no say in it, really. When asked what kind of baby Quentin was, he says he was always happy, always smiling. He didn't really cry a lot. He was a good baby. Now, according to news reports, Leilani admitted to using drugs while pregnant with one of her three small children when it came up in court. And also from court documents, we found out that two of her babies tested positive for drugs after they were born, that being baby Sky and the oldest, Zane. They tested positive, from my understanding, uh, due to court documents with uh, THC as well as cocaine. Now, she admitted to doing drugs with one of those, but two of them tested positive after birth. Now, in reference to his relationship with Leilani and her trying to frame him for another crime that she committed, back in February 2021, uh, Bubba was served with an arrest warrant in connection with a June 2020 trailer home break-in 
for which she blamed him for when she was arrested. So, a police report cited by several outlets say that Leilani allegedly stole $50 from a coin jar that was in a mobile home trailer park. So, she broke into um, a home in a trailer park in Waynesboro, and when the homeowner caught her, um, she basically said that Bubba Balls put her up to it. So, it says here, uh, according to the documents, it says, when asked who he, the victim, thought was responsible for breaking in his home and stealing the money, he pointed to a female who was later identified as Leilani Simon, who also lived next door and was currently standing outside. The police officer report says, I then spoke with Leilani, and while doing so, she admitted to entering the camper and taking all of the change from inside the coin jar. Leilani added that her child's father, Henry Bubba Moss, came over around 8 a.m. that day and convinced her to help him enter the camper. Miss Simon stated that since Bubba could not fit through the window, she did instead. The Daily Mail also obtained a recording, which was made by one of Bubba Moss's friends, where Bubba Moss actually confronted Leilani um, about framing him or accusing him of putting her up to this. So, in this um, video, you hear uh, Bubba Moss saying, why did you do that, though? Why would you tell them I did that? That is effed up. I still can't believe it. What? Are you going to tell them the effing truth now or what? And Leilani replies, Yes, Bubba, I'm going to tell them the truth. I've already called up there. They have so many different effing recorded messages when you call. I'm going to tell them the truth that you didn't do anything. And then he is reportedly heard saying, I know, but damn, you shouldn't be lying about everything. Then we can be together and everything else. So, you guys, this isn't even the first time that she's tried to pin something on her baby daddy. So literally back in 2020, when she broke into someone's home and stole all the change out of their change jar, she blamed her baby daddy for this. And he was literally caught on audio, a recorded video saying, like, this is why we can't be together. Why would you do that? Are you gonna like set this straight? Are you gonna call up there and tell them I didn't do this? Because mind you, he was served with an arrest warrant after they thought that he actually did put her up to this. So this is wild that she like goes around stealing from people and then blames it on her baby daddy. Leilani was slapped with a felony first degree burglary charge that she pleaded down to criminal trespassing and was sentenced to 12 months of probation, which she is also under a separate probation for a 2021 theft in North Carolina, where she allegedly stole cigarettes, a drink, and popcorn from her employer. Um, and from my understanding, she was working at a gas station at that time, and she stole cigarettes, a drink, and popcorn. And it amounted to be like about $20. So she was then um, charged with felony larceny, felony larceny. And for that charge, um, she was also probation. So, uh, Bubba Moss admitted to the Daily Mail that he previously had been arrested for fighting, criminal trespassing, possession of marijuana. He also said that he was stunned that Leilani has not been arrested yet in Quentin's case. He says, she's a terrible person. She's going to jail or hell one. She should not be out here with society. If she didn't want him, she could have told me I would have come and got him. This is a sad, sad story, you guys. Um... So it was not the first time that she's blamed uh, Bubba Moss for, uh, you know, a crime that he did not commit. I would like to hear more from Bubba Moss. You know, um, this is his son. What's his feelings on it? How often did he see his son? Because from what Leilani said, Bubba Moss has not been a part of Quentin's life since Quentin was two months old. However, this is coming from Leilani. You know, someone that we have to take everything that she says with a grain of salt. So you guys let me your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you guys shocked to hear that she is blaming her baby dad and that this isn't the first time that she has blamed him for a crime? You guys let me know in the comment section below. Also, Billy Joe in that first interview saying, I don't know why she would say that. Like it just doesn't make sense. Her story doesn't add up to say that Quentin's biological dad came to get him. I think Billy Joe has known from day one that more than likely Leilani is behind this disappearance. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel to keep up with the story. Anything that happens in Quentin Simon's case, I will hop on here and let you guys know. Also, we go live a lot to discuss this case. So, subscribe to the channel. Make sure your bell is set to all. Follow me on my other social media accounts because I do post there before I go live as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.